Hey everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play project, a game I've been wanting to do a little while, or for a little while now. Ever since I kind of heard about it last year, I've heard it's good. And after playing Dave the Diver and playing the crossover DLC, I kind of wanted to give this game a try too. But welcome to Let's Play Dredge, a game that's about fishing, boats, and from what I understand, some horror elements. So yeah, let's get into it, shall we? I don't know too much about this game. So this is going to be mostly blind outside of like a couple basic facts. Like I know it's about boats. I know there's a lot of fishing in it. That's like the core thing. Yeah, we're going to be an angler, angler apparently. And this game is also has some horror elements like cosmic horror. I think from what I understand. But yeah, I guess we'll find out together. I feel like I haven't done like a real like scary horror game for a long time for the channel. I love horror games. But yeah, I guess I haven't really done too many of them for the channel before. To be fair, it kind of clashes a little bit with the whole farming theme. But hey, Dave the Diver kind of opened the door for this game, and you know what? I'll take it. I'll give something a tr uh, new a try. But yeah, it looks like we kind of crashed our boat immediately. Not the best first impression. Yeah, whoops. I'm not good at boating. But hey, we're a fisherman apparently, so we're here to fish for this village. This kind of out of, in the middle of nowhere village. Well, job's a job, I guess. And apparently we need to get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Okay. So yeah, I guess we're gonna go out then. Uh, I guess I can't do anything until I get through the tutorial. Got a boat here. What do we got here? Basic fishing pole. Only capable of catching the smallest of fish. Um, an engine and an engine. Okay, that's just our engine. And it doesn't look like we have anything else. Oh, this is our mission list. So we just need to go out today and just catch as many fish as we can. Alright. Oh, I also have the DLC as well, because it was on sale when I bought the game. We'll probably give it a try once we get through the main game, or whenever it becomes relevant. Like I said, this is mostly blind, and by mostly I mean, I guess I only know the basics of the game. So let's get out there, shall we? So we have ourselves a new, well, a non-sunk boat, I guess. All right, so let me see here. So I know this has a lot of time management. So right now it's what, 6.17 in the morning. Oh, actually time doesn't pass unless we're moving. All right, that's good to know. All right, let's go fishing, shall we? We are a fisherman. Our name is unnamed. I don't think our character's name is Frank. We're Frank the Fisher. Unless we actually have a character name. All right, so how do we fish here? Um, X to start fishing. Oh, I see, uh... Okay, I see. So we just have to hit X when it turns into the green part of the ring. And then we just have to store our fish on the boat. Oh, it's like a Resident Evil 4 style inventory system. Oh, that's fun. Alright, let's just try to catch a couple more where are these. Mackerel. Is there a penalty for missing? Oh I, oh, I see now. The penalty for missing is that it makes time pass. Okay. So yeah, we do need to get back before dark. So I guess we'll go look for a different area. Oh, what's this? Alright, just uh... Brief respite in the gloom of the night. Okay. Something tells me we're going to need to start fishing at night at some point. Right now, though, let's just try to stick to the daytime as much as possible. What do we got here? Something I cannot fish up because my equipment sucks. I guess I lost all my equipment when I crashed my boat. What do we got here? Uh, oh, new fish. Okay, so basically if I screw up, we lose time. I caught a cod. It's crooked. I don't know, I always really like this type of inventory system of, like, a grid. Where you just kind of have to 
kind of Tetris your way into trying to squeeze every inch of space you can. Oh, I caught all the fish here. Whoops. Uh, I guess we'll need a spot. Oh, yeah. Time only passes when you're moving, fishing, or doing other actions. Okay, let's go try to find a different spot. I do like the look of this game, though. It's actually, like, kind of pretty in that weird, low-poly, almost, like, melancholic way. What do we got here? Is this more mackerel? Yeah, it's just more mackerel. I kind of want to see if I can find some different areas to fish in. Oh, wait. Is that where we came from? No, that's where we came from. Wait, what is that? Is that another village? Here, let's head over there while I'm just trying to catch a couple of fish along the way. This looks like more cod. Yeah. Okay, here. I want to go see what's up with this village real quick. Also, maybe fish over here if I can. Nope, don't have the right fishing gear. It's only, what, 4 p.m.? What time does night start? It looks like around... 7 is when it gets dark. So we might want to start heading back soon. Plus, can I dock here? Okay, no, it's not going to let me dock here, right? No. Oh, no, I can dock here. But I need to actually go back to my home village. Alright, ooh. Let's try to carry across the bay. It's almost dark. Do I want to try fishing a bit more? Oh, actually, no. I should probably head back. Oh, God. Hurry up, boat. It'd be really embarrassing if, uh... Oh. Select your lights by holding right left bumper... Lessens the effects of panic. Okay, so we can turn on our lights. It Wait, what does it say? It makes us easier to spot? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, let's head back to the village before... Uh... Okay, that's not good. It is 7 p.m. and that's an eyeball. Yeah, I think we're done fishing for the day. Yeah, um, great. We literally tore our boat. Hmm, mm, okay. Oh, alright, so basically the more I fish, the better the town will be. And eventually I can buy this boat. I figured this is just Animal Crossing, I just need to pay off my debt. Okay, so selling fish helps the town, pays off my debt. Let's go sell them at the fishmonger. Wait. What do you mean a new one? Alright, so it sounds like we're going to be stuck in this village until I pay off my debt. How much do I owe at this point? Oh, blue mackerel suck. I guess we should have been trying to catch uh, more cod then. Alright, um, let me see. How does this work? Sell law fish. Get adjusted. Okay, so we have 100 bucks to our name. And we paid off $17 of our debt. Where do I get to see my debt amount? Research part. Curious looking component. Could be used to develop new equipment, but need would need some investigation at a dock first. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll stick that down here. Maybe I should own my ship before I start modifying it. Alright, so I need to pay... Oh, it's only 32 bucks? Wait. The ship is only worth $50. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing in terms of just how much I need to pay, or how good it is. Alright, uh, let's see here. Let's go check out the ship, right? Uh. Alright, so I need to pay for it and take some time to install it on the boat. 
And you can repair my ship if I break it again. What do we got here? Ooh, fishing rod. Oh, I can't afford I can afford this. Catching fish that live in the shadows. Ooh, both of these are actually really tempting, I think. How long? That takes two hours to install. 75 bucks. I can afford that. Let's, let's buy that right now. We have to wait until morning anyways. Okay, so I upgrade my equipment. Research. Oh, these are what the parts are used for. So we can basically research uh, new items and equipment. So we got rods, engines. Okay. So I don't know... I'm not sure... We're. I don't think we're in the, o the open ocean yet. I feel like just based on how slowly we moved, it might be worth upgrading the engine first. Let's upgrade the engine. Okay. So... Hey, Mayor, what's up? So, uh... But I'm to the last fisherman. Ah... Uh, Okay, so originally I thought it was some horrific thing that uh, ended up to him. No, it turns out he just kind of sucked. He literally did everything he wasn't supposed to. So, you know what? Fair that they fired him and or he just kind of disappeared one day. Oh, these are the areas around here. Uh, you know what? We might as well get a bit of lore. Tell me about the Gale Cliffs. Oh, wait, is this, like, the different regions of the world? Oh, do we have a map, actually? Alright, there's a whaling town over there. There's a tourist town in this area, apparently. Alright. That's a star basin. Twisted Strand. Giant tree area, okay. Sounds like we're not going there... Oh, even fog during the day, huh? I guess we're not going there anytime soon. And there's a volcano around here. Great. I guess we're also not going there anytime soon. Okay. Oh, no, we already asked about that. Um, We already asked about the last fisherman, about the region. Uh... You know what? I'm not going to pay off the debt right now. I'll just, like, slowly pay it off as I'm fishing. Let's get back to fishing. Alright, so I think I understand the basic flow of this game. It's not that different from Dave the Diver. You spend the day fishing, getting enough fish, and then coming back, selling everything, and then making upgrades overnight. Alright. Let's just rest until morning. I don't think we should go out at night right now. Also, um... Has anyone else noticed the weird light pillar that appears at night? I wonder what that's about. Oh, wait, here are all the fish we can catch. Oh, wow, there is... Okay, I know the pale reach is like the DLC area. I think right now we're in the Marrows. Okay. Also, yeah, it looks like there are probably fish that only appear at night. So at some point, we're going to need to go night fishing. Anyways, it's morning. Let's set off. I need to go catch some fish and pay off my debt. Honestly, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to start saving up for some upgrades to my fishing equipment, too. Oh, actually, wait. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's like our side box, right? Probably so that we can move things and rotate things around. Okay. You know what? Let's try a different fishing spot. It looks like we've kind of overfished that area. So, I guess in between days... I guess just to kind of dis yeah, discourage you from fishing the same spot over and over again. It looks like it might take some time for, like, spots to restock. Hmm. 
Can I move the- I don't think I can move these around. Hold on. I can make this better. Ah, it's that one little square that's kind of annoying. Because I don't think I can move my actual fishing equipment yet. Okay, let's try somewhere else. I don't want to overfish one region. So I guess we'll fish until like around... Four-ish? I think around that time we should start thinking about heading back. But yeah, I don't know if like fishing in one spot too much, or making the stock go completely empty is worse than just kind of fishing until it's low. You know what, let's see if we can catch some better fish. Is there a cod area around here? What's this? Oh good, cod. Stick these in there. Hmm. I can catch one more, but then I'm out of room. Okay. Yeah, let's just head back a little bit early today. Oh, actually, you know what? I wonder if they'll... Oh, actually, no. I want to sell back at the home port, don't I? Okay, I'm going to sell back at the home port so I can pay off my debt more. And help improve the town with fish. Who knows? Maybe the more fish we sell, eventually we can, uh... Turn this area into a nice tourist area. As long as nobody goes out into the ocean at night. I'm kind of tempted to go out in the ocean at night one of these days, but not yet. Kind of want a faster boat before I do any of that. Takes forever just to go out into like the little shallow area. Okay, let's uh, head to the fishmonger and sell what we got. Oh! Hmm. One golf flounder, one gray eel. Ooh. Okay, I have a rod that can house shallow waters. I don't know where... Where do I find those? <sighs> okay, hold on a minute. Um, where do I look at my requests? One flounder, one eel. Oh, wait, didn't I have... I'm dumb. I think I had the flounder already. I could have sold that. I don't think I've caught an eel yet, though. Marrows. Hmm. Shallows, though. Okay, maybe tomorrow we'll try to go catch some shallow fit. Oh, actually, wait. Hold on. What looks like an eel? This looks like an eel. Maybe I'll try to go find some eels tomorrow, along with the, uh, flounder. It's fine. I got money. Gulf flounder and gray eel. Oh, yeah, I had a flounder. I should have turned that in. Okay, that's fine. We'll do it tomorrow. Don't want anything from the ship, right? Probably a better engine, to be honest. Ooh, lights wouldn't be a bad idea, either. Okay. How much are these engines? Rusty outboard engines. Oh, I could save up for the good one. Okay. Kind of want to save up for the good rod as well. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to sleep until tomorrow morning. And then I'm going to go make more money today. And I'm hoping at that point I'll have enough money to get some upgrades for the boat. Hi there! Oh, wait, weren't you the lady who did the Dave the Diver crossover? Uh, no, I'm thinking of a different character. Never mind. Also, I work here now. I've come to fish. I'm a fisherman. Huh. Well, that's unusual. Oh, wait, Mir has something for me. Sailing out east towards Little Marrow. Oh, is that the town that's across the bay? Yeah, I'll go over there. Ew. Okay, sounds like it's probably just some food or something. Alright, let's head out. So I'm guessing that's the one right across the bay. How do I open my map? Wait, how do I open my map? Uh... Uh, 
up on the control pad. Okay, yeah, it's right across there. Oh, I see now. So we are in the Marrows, and then there's like four other areas around here. And I'm guessing that's the DLC area. Okay. So far I'm enjoying this, though. It's just a nice little chill little fishing game as long as you don't go out at night. Okay, let's try to find some shallow areas, though. I need to find an eel and a flounder. I guess I'll also head over to the other village as well while we're here. Oh, these look like eels. Oh, God. Okay, that's different. It's a little unnerving how they wiggle as you're moving them around your inventory. Okay, so eels are right there. Oh, I see now. You can kind of see what type of fish they are just from the uh, shape of the shadows. So, like, I think those are mackerel on the right. Flounder are right over there. Let's go stop by there and grab a few. Hmm. I'll need to manage my inventory after this. Here, let's go drop off the package so I can get out of my boat. My boat storage is kind of terrible. <laughs> hmm. I'm sure it's just fish or something. Oh, hey, 25 mm. bucks. And a book. About sustainable fishing. Alright, we might raid that like later tonight. Oh hey, trader, what do we got here? Ooh, purchase any special trinkets. I haven't found any, I don't think. Now, unless you count fish as a trinket. I only oh I only have fish at the moment. Okay, let's head back out. I guess I can sleep at a dock. That's good to know. Also, I guess that town doesn't have a fishmonger. So I guess I have to go back to, uh... What's the town called again? Greater Marrow. I have to go back to Greater Marrow if I want to sell my fish. I work for them, so it kind of makes sense that I would probably want to sell to them. Oh! I got a trophy, apparently. Oh, as in trophy fish. Okay, it's, uh, it's like 3 p.m. Let's start heading back. I really need a better engine. I can barely get across the bay in a single day. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm a good little fisherman who comes back at night. For now. Until the game makes me go out at night. For fish, probably. We know that rare fish only come out at night. I mean, that's not too wrong. There are certain species of fish that only come out at night. Alright, uh, I got the fish I needed, right? Yep. So, just one of these. And one of these. Oh, perfect. Oh, I think that should be enough to pay off my debt now. Oh, they want squid and a black grouper. Ugh. Alright, sounds like in order to do that one, we're gonna need to go out tonight. Are we actually turning this area into a tourist town? Because that would actually be kind of an amazing twist. Oh, old dry dock is operational. Hold on, what is the dry dock? Significant improvements of the vessel. Okay, so these are the big, big improvements. Lumber, metal scraps. Okay, I need to harvest, like, shipwrecks, it looks like. Okay. 
yeah, I don't have any materials right now, but we'll keep an eye out for that, I guess. Okay. So, how much money do I have now? I could afford a better engine. 200 bucks. Yeah, you know what? It's worth it. I need more movement speed. Let's install that. Now, the question is, do I want to risk going out at night? Because what was the request again? Oh, actually, I can look in my menu. Oh, hey, bookshelf. Uh, I guess we'll read it. Wait, hold on a second. Do we actually have to pass time to read books? That's not how this works. Usually you just open a book and know everything immediately. Okay. Um, I guess we need to passively read over time. That's new. Okay. Oh, wait. Do I actually have to do this? I have to do this. Two squid, one black grouper. They only come out at night. Okay. So, uh... Can I afford a better light source before I do this one? No. Hmm. Do I feel safe about going out at night tonight? I mean, the game is telling me to go catch some fish. I'm sure as long as we stay close to the shore, it should be fine. But I think I'll do that next time, so, uh... Hope everyone enjoyed the first episode of Let's Play Dredge. Next time on Let's Play Dredge, um, we're going to see what happens when we go out at night. Because I have some fish to catch. So, till then.